Okay, here we are once again for another unboxing. This time, I've finally received my copy of Village Attacks here in Australia. There were some delays due to a backlog in the distribution, so a lot of people uh, outside of the US, it took a very, well, not very long time, an extra bit of a long time to get their games. But here it is in its box, got it from DHL today. So why don't we have a look and see what's inside? If I can open the thing. And I've just uh, gotten this thing to hold my camera so I can use two hands to open the box. Now usually I've only got one free hand and I have to do like some creative editing, which I might have to do anyway if this takes me too long. Nobody wants to just sit and watch me. All right, first thing we see, bubble, this new sort of thing, not bubble wrap, but pretty darn well packed, as to be expected. So I think this was a, this was coming from Games Quest, the distributor, and this is a game from Grimlord Games, as you can see with their Grimlord and their little hexagonal fingerprint thing, and ooh, lots of stuff in the box. So I didn't get everything. I got a lot. I kind of went a bit nuts on this one, and because uh, it was very exciting, especially towards the end. I remember being on the. Um, comments section just uh, typing troll over and over again because we were almost going to get the troll there he is this one free troll that's exciting 10 pound value ah. um which is like 10 pounds that's like 20 something australian dollars all right so i'll take all this out of the box and we'll get the box out of the way so that we can have a look at them so let's set these aside look at that Dread and Malice. Everything's looking very uh, nice. I went ahead and got the Saints of the Horrors, Horror of the Saints. I've always been a big fan of monsters. Oh, two special dice. Different green than I expect, but still nice. Um, Kickstarter exclusives. There wasn't a ton of that, but still good. Actually, I don't mind not a lot of Kickstarter exclusives because Generally, instead, you get stuff for free that would otherwise be retail. Now, these boxes are all meant to sort of look like books, which, you know, they kind of do. They, I've, I've seen that done better because uh, these are just boxes with the top that comes off. Some of them, I have, I have one where it literally opens up like a book, and it's really cool. Um, so I was hoping for something more like that, but that's all right. You do what you do. If it keeps the price down, it's worth doing it this way. And then on the shelf, it looks like a big stack of box to spare. Just tons of little extra monster and hero packs. And I got an extra thing of traps. So it came free with a set of traps, which was about as... Third. It comes with half as many traps as there are cards. So I thought to myself, I'm going to go ahead and buy a whole extra box of traps. So I have one trap for every trap card just because I like that sort of thing. Because I don't want one trap out and then another one that's a card. The actual base game here has been individually bubble wrapped because it's so special. How does that look? So here it is, Village Attacks. Cool. So there's the box. It's got its plastic wrap. Ooh. See, now I can use two hands to open things. They open much more easily. So much plastic. Even before you get to the plastic in the box, you have to go through so much plastic. I like um, Atherworks because they use those biodegradable peanuts in their packing, um, which is nicer on the environment. Um, looks like a linen finish on the box. It's a bit of a give on the bottom there, so when I'm holding it in my hands, you can see the edge there is sort of denting in. There's the back of the box with words on it. There's some pictures of a villager and this guy, and that's his own head in his hands. That's the, I don't know how to pronounce his name, the Headless Horseman. All right, let's open it up. Shoop. Cardboard, no surprises there. A nice big thick rule book. I really like all the the graphics. I don't know how do you call it. The graphic design. 
everything's meant to look like old dusty tomes and and you know what do you call it age time weathered pages but of course they've managed to do that and also have it be on shiny glossy paper that looks brand new and that I can you know protect and make sure it doesn't get ruined all right and here we have our standard more plastic inserts so that every single miniature is kept okay so now you'll see a bunch of dark gray ones and a light gray one that's our first monster and there was a lot of discussion about what color to make the monsters there's a vote i think originally these were all going to be red and then somebody decided in the end when they saw the production samples it was like ah, it's not a good idea we'll go with gray and that's fine as long as you can tell them apart so a smaller base than what I was expecting, about the right size. So this is cool, she's a banshee. She flies around screaming at people, telling them they're gonna die. Um, and then there's some town heroes, this guy. He's featured a lot. He's got a giant horn and a, an ax. And fur on one shoulder, cause it's good to, important to keep the shoulder warm for battle purposes. I don't know. I don't know why people dress the way they do. It looks cool. That's the important thing. I love these villagers. They're all just so... Like, they hate these monsters. And they just want to They just want to tear down the castle. Well, why wouldn't you? They've been sitting up in their castle. Just being monsters. Killing people. Stealing kids. And that's you. You get to be the guys that these guys want to kill. It's like working for the tax department. Choop, choop. There we go. Look at him. He's just, he spends all his time hating monsters and growing a beard. He's got a torch. I really like that. That looks nice. For you painters out there, that's, no, focus on him. He's the star. There, see, that looks very fiery. Cool. All right, we'll just keep going because I've got lots to get through. Nobody likes long unboxing videos. Or maybe they do. I don't know. I don't like them. See, here's our more monsters. These are our base monsters. This guy, he's a lich. He's got he's he's got his own copy of the rule book, which is cool. Um, and a small head. It's because all of his knowledge is 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 held in an arcane place. Uh, here's the look at this guy. Another town hero, the executioner. You know, got, you know you got problems when your executioner is the town hero. Here's the Headless Horseman. Although, you know, no horse. There was some discussion about why he doesn't have a horse. And people had some good answers. Like, when, they ha when he steps off his horse, that means someone's going to die. So that's the legend. So that's pretty good. And he's got a spine whip. I guess that's his own spine. So he does, you know, waste not, want not. Um... The vampire. This is like the one of the first minis they were showing off. And everybody was like, oh my god, wow, look at that. You can look right up his, his skirt. That is vampire paints. He's got capes and armor. It's kind of elfish looking. But he's no elf. The vampire. And the demon, the succubus. Which is a weird sort of one to have in there. Because we all know what succubuses get up to. And it's not... Um... I don't know, something other than what they do. She's got a tail. She's got some wings. She's got a knife. She's cool. It's good to always have some lady characters for our lady players to play if they don't want to. Look at this guy, the grave digger. Another very odd choice for a hero. A guy that's walking around with a shovel and a casket on his back. Again, you know you have problems when you look up to these guys. You know who we should follow? The grave digger. He doesn't, he doesn't take crap from vampires. He buries them. Yeah, this guy with, these are like the, and then there's the, what do they call these guys? Not the heroes. These are like the town slightly better than villagers. Mercenaries. Hunters, that's what they are. They come, they come seeking monsters to kill from all across the land. Mostly for money and also for hate of monsters. Oh, a nice little bag with a sticker on it. I don't think that sticker's going to last. And bases. 
more bases. That's part of the game. And lots of different sized tiles. So that's cool. Look at this cute little one. Double sided. What's that about? I don't know. A little medium sized one. So that's cool. I mean, when I first saw the pictures, I thought this was supposed to be like a... But it's actually only that big. There's... There it is. That's the castle heart. The thing which must be protected. There's two of them in case you want to have two castle hearts. Seems like a good idea, but I think in the game it's actually, you know, just gives the villagers another thing to destroy and kill everybody. Ah, uh, yeah. Metal coin. How do you like that? So when this one's like, you can flip it to determine results. 50-50 chance. The daytime and nighttime die, so you can have a little bit of extra gameplay thing there. Little plugs for the spinny dials. And some more dice. So I've got like, what is it, 18 dice to play with? Plus the extra two, 20 dice. Cards, there's some villager cards. There's my trap cards. There's probably some more cards in there too. We'll, we'll have a look. All right, and then the boards. I'm just, I have to say, everything is nice quality. Nobody, these guys do not skimp on quality. Look at this. There's the Banshee's player board. All everything you need to know to be a Banshee, and everything you need to know if they question you about it. So like, if they're like, "You're not a Banshee," you can be. Well, actually, I'm hailing from Ireland. I'm female. I spirit the heralds of death. Uh, what do you know about Banshees? I know everything because I am one. Sweet artwork there. She doesn't look cool. I mean, she looks cool, but just not like cool to hang out with. Uh, yeah, yeah, same thing. That artwork's a bit sketchy, but all right, that's fine. Not everybody artist does the same thing. And the vampire, he's, he's good. I like that interpretation of vampire. He's like, I'm still, you know, very good looking, but in a scary sort of way. There's the dials, you can see you punch those out and then you put these dials in there somewhere. There's some dials somewhere. There's this guy, he's the Doolahan. That's what, I wanted to call him the Dwa de Duane, but I, but I knew that was wrong. It's the Doolahan. He's mythic, he's a mythic monster. Punch boards, oh look at that, even more hallways. Oh gosh, there's lots of hallways. And some town hero punch boards and there's the dials and there's Lots of those things. That's good. Even more rooms. It never ends with the rooms. I'm happy about that. I like lots of variability. Oh, and there's the monster special powers. Yeah, it's looking good. All right, I'll put that in there. I think I'll open those cards now because there's a couple more boxes to get through. And, uh, and those ones, you know, you don't want to wait till the end to just look at the cards after you've seen all the miniatures. So we'll just get these cards out of the way. Come on, be easy to open. You're embarrassing me. There it is. Okay. There we go. Cards. There's the back. There's the front. Villager with a wood axe. He thought he came prepared, but he didn't. She's got some reach with that pitchfork. Also, pretty much guaranteed to die. She's also going to die but definitely looking a lot tougher same as this guy these are the um the mercenaries are they mercenaries hunters i don't know what to call them and this is the one where so like you draw that and you get you, you put a town hero out there that's what's going to happen town hero is going to come out and those guys are a problem that's that's when things start getting pretty tense in the castle uh come on now I don't want to break the cards, I want to break the plastic. There it is, that's good. Too much plastic, but you know, you don't want your cards all over the place. Mm hmm, spiky floor, treasure, things on the ceiling, fireballs, just all your basic Indiana Jones stuff that you need to kill people that come into your house. Beset on all sides, either some sort of events. Oh yeah, random events happening in your castle. The hunters arrive. This is all important stuff. You don't wanna, I think it's mostly cards that don't help you. Okay, so that's the base set. Let's, um, let's straighten this out real quick.
so that I can set this box aside and start digging into all these other exciting boxes that I have. Because there's a lot of boxes. When you go Kickstarter and things, it gets crazy. People wake up, they've spent a lot of money, they've got a lot of stuff coming in the mail. They're not sure how they got there. But in the end, they gotta make some hard decisions about their shelf. Do I buy more shelves? Do I, I don't know. All right, Ooh, don't crush your rule book. It's already got old tattered pages.